Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, I've got an absolutely beautiful Class A we're going to review today. This is a type of used motor home that new shoppers look for. And uh, when they can't find, they go out and spend twice as much or more on a brand new one. Today, we're going to look at a 2016 Thor Challenger Class A. This is the model 37LX. Total length is 38 feet, one inches long. This particular unit's got 10,200 miles. Guys, I'm, I'm not kidding. This is probably one of the nicest, cleanest, least used Class A's I've filmed in a long time. I think you'll agree with me as we go through it. Um, let's take a look at this one. Beautiful full body paint for those of you who are not familiar. The Thor Challenger is Thor Motor Coaches, which is the largest manufacturer of motorhomes in the world. Uh, this is their top of the line gas model. Built on a F53 chassis, it does have the 6.8 Triton V10 with 362 horsepower and 457 pound feet of torque. Now, this particular model's only got two slide outs, but your main slide is a full wall slide on the driver's side that's pretty much the entire side of the motorhome. So as far as square footage, this has got about the same as most triple or even some quad slide units. I mean, you can look in some of the bays right here and see how nice and clean they are. 10,200 miles, guys. I mean, this thing is, uh, they just don't come nicer than this in a used motorhome in any year model. 5500 Onan generator running right now, powering everything inside. 350 hours, I believe. I mean, look how nice this thing looks. It's just your water tank. Tires look great. It's got the actual wheels instead of just the hubcaps or the, or the uh, simulators on it. Look at the propane tank. Still got the tags on it got the furnace on right now pass-through storage at least on the very top I mean guys you can't man this thing's just beautiful RV the only thing I've got to do to it is somebody did rob the outside television out of it so I'm gonna put one of them in it for you so don't worry about that it'll be a 32 inch man look at the beautiful color scheme the slide toppers does have the uh, leveling jack system, the automatic leveling jacks. Trailer hitch on the back is rated on paper for 8,000 pounds, um, is what it's rated to tow. 5,500 Onan gasoline generator, 50 amp electrical service. Look at this huge slide out right here, guys. That's a 20 foot plus slide out. That is a monster slide. So. It really opens up the interior, makes it feel like a lot bigger than it really is. Of course, 38 feet's a big motorhome. That's how clean that generator is. Got the slam style latches. Six gallon gas electric water heater, quick recovery. Got the uh, frameless windows. Let's see, it was a veteran owned. Well, based on the insignia, we're gonna call this one Sarge. So Sarge here, 10,000 miles, and just absolutely pristine condition. It's got the backup camera system with the side view cameras, the one piece windshield, power shades, power awning works great. Got the uh, LED light strip on it, man. I don't get them like this every day, guys. I wish I did. 37LX. Got the power steps. Let's take a look inside Sarge here. And, guys, I'm going to show you something. Tell me this ain't one of the prettiest, cleanest used motorhomes you've probably seen on my channel. And I've had some nice ones, but... Wow. Huh. Ooh, I'm back. I might have to turn that heat down. He's pretty, pretty hot. This thing 
immaculate, guys. Um, no smoke or pad odors. I mean, the furniture's not peeling. It's got actually got flex steel furniture. You don't see that in Thor's very often. And you can definitely tell this is the higher end Thor because you've got the glazed wood cabinets and the glazed wood trim in here. I mean, as far as later model motorhomes are concerned, this is actually pretty high up on the quality scale. Um, you know, for, for later model motorhomes. And it's got all the latest technology, all that good stuff. 10,213 miles. Backup camera. Side camera works with the blinkers. That's just letting me know my steps are out. Uh, dash air is good and cold. Not like you really need it right now. It's 45 degrees. <laughs> Does have an 18 watt, 100 watt Xantrix inverter. Uh, you can see, look at these seats, guys. Both seats swivel for party seating. I know, I know, my steps are down and I got my awning out. It'll have to tell me all that junk. I'm going to go ahead and cut the motor off so I can show you the overhead bed, which is controlled right here. Now, this bed will not come down when the motorhome is running. 385.5 hours on the generator, so no worries there. Here's your switch. Just turn this on. Lower this down. Like most people that, that buy these with this overhead bunk, they didn't use it for a bed. They never even put the mattress in it. So, you know, if you are going to use this for a bed, you probably pick you up an air mattress somewhere. Um, but I uh, got the safety net and all that, or you may want to use it for a little bit of storage. Makes a good fishing pole holder or whatever you want to use it for. Now they put these in there, but very few people actually use those. And it pretty much makes a full-size bed for two smaller adults or one full-size adult or a couple of kids. You just bring it up till it stops. I'm going to leave that door open and whew, I'm about to cut that furnace off here too. It's warm in here. It's 45 degrees outside, so pretty chilly today. Uh, you do have a large table booth that makes a bed. All the books and manuals are in it. All the lights work. You got solid, beautiful solid surface countertops. In fact, I like to have this in my own home. I, I love that uh, shade of solid surface countertops. You know, got the nice cut right here. Stainless steel stove top. You've got your microwave and convection oven on top. And this is the one that does have the, um, if I'm mistaken, the Gold Series. Some of these have a steamer built in. Yeah, this is also a steamer as well. So you look behind here, you've got the ceramic backsplash. You've got the full 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator that can run off your inverter in case you didn't want to run your generator while going down the road. You can run your all-electric refrigerator off of that. And what's nice about this versus an RV refrigerator, this is a lot bigger and it cools off a lot faster. You know, a, a big RV refrigerator takes about six to eight hours to get to operating temperature. This is ready to put food in in about an hour. Do have a television. You've got a fireplace. You can set for heat or just for the effect. Very comfortable. This is actually an option too. This you could either get this with a sofa, or the uh, and I do like the LED lights on them, or the uh, power theater seating. And that's obviously came with the theater seating. These are massaging and heated theater seating, and they feel good. Believe me, I've already checked that out. And they both work both sides. Fantastic vent fan in the kitchen in case you burn something. You can vent out the smell. And I love this full wall slide because it allows them to, it allows the floor plan to be a lot more open. And it's a bath and a half too, forgot to mention that. And it's got a stack washer and dryer. You know, I don't know how much equipment you want in a 38 foot class A, but this has pretty much got everything you could ask for. 
And by the way, guys, before I go any further, I forgot to do this outside. We pause the media so I do a roof shot. All right, everybody, you can see that roof looks just as nice as the rest of the RV. Here's your stack washer and dryer. It's not the combo unit. It's the actual stack unit. It doesn't look like it's hardly been used. So, you know, that's pretty expensive thing to add to an existing motorhome. Uh, this is your half bath right here. And this is actually pretty roomy for a half bath. We'll lower this warm in here. Uh, got the porcelain toilet, storage. I am going to cut this heat off. That's just a little bit. That's one thing I love about propane heat, guys, versus electric. Nothing heats one up like propane. I'm telling you. Faster, more efficiently, and just warms you up a lot better. Um, big bedroom right here, guys. King bed. Brand new mattress. This is one thing that was missing in it. I guess the previous owners had a custom mattress or something for it, so they kept it. So we put you a brand new mattress, never been slept on. King bed fits perfectly. I am out of comforter, so as soon as I get another shipment of those in, I put one in for you. Um, one thing I do want to point out is the previous owners did put, because I noticed a couple of remotes for some color changing LED lights, and they put them around the windows in here in the bedroom, and they put them around the slide on the main full wall slide out i don't know if you can see them up there or not but they take batteries so you know the remote for that one is in the center of the uh theater seating so if you want to put some double a batteries or whatever it calls for uh see if those work if they do they do they don't they don't i'm pretty sure they do as nice as the rest of the rv is but the batteries were removed from them so i'm i guess keep them from corroding so uh, we can have some color changing LED lights here, make it a party wagon. <laughs> uh, another television in here, it does have multiple USB chargers. You got a, a Bluetooth stereo, closets, drawer space. And you do have a large rear bathroom. This is where your shower's at. And I do like the solid sliding privacy door, which I mean, if you're in your shower, Back here, you can just close your door at the bedroom instead of that one. And this gives you your entire bedroom, bathroom to get ready in. And over here, a uh, big bathroom. And again, you got a, a, another porcelain RV toilet. Double medicine cabinet. Big ugly guy in the mirror does not go with the RV, which, you know, he might depend on where you're going, of course. Uh, big stand-up shower with a skylight. I'll put a shower curtain in here for you. I guess I took the shower curtain out. I would say it probably originally had a glass door right here, but a lot of people take those out and put a shower curtain in because it gives you so much more room. It may not look as pretty, but it gives you so much more practical room to put a shower curtain in instead of, instead of a glass door. So we'll definitely put you a shower curtain in there. And the shower looks great. It's not bleached yellow from the sun. This thing obviously has not spent a lot of time out in the elements when it wasn't being used. And uh, a big bathroom, really. Then don't forget your half bath. And it does have dual 13,500 BTU, low profile Coleman mock air conditioners. Or some people call them Max, Mox, whatever you want to call them. Let's see here one little dent right there and i would say they probably opened it up too far and it got a little ding from that cabinet i'm a guessing it's a nice rv guys and before i filmed this i did some research because i want to make sure my price was competitive of course at 89.9 and first I checked the NADA and I, um, I'm going to flash that up in just a second, but 
I didn't add for any options. I didn't add for the washer and dryer. I didn't add for the inverter um, or anything else. And let me flash that up real quick. So you can see guys, I'm selling this thing for way less than what NADA says. I should be selling it for up to the tune of like $16,000 plus under what it should be selling it for. So then I went to RV Trader, and this is what I do. This is how I determine prices, because RV Trader, as most of you probably know, is pretty much the definitive source for RV advertising, because I know looking at RV ads online can be confusing, because you might be a lot of websites, websites that advertise RVs for sale don't update their ads, so that it makes it look like more people advertise on there than they really do. So unknowingly, you might be looking at an ad that's two or three years old. Or older so it's really hard to tell which are current which are not that's why I like RV Trader because RV Traders got well first of all they got over 200 plus thousand RVs for sale and I'm not endorsing them by any means this is what I do and what a lot of other dealers do to de determine market value because NADA is a what we call book value or JD power it's called the book value book value in market value is two different things I mean that book value helps you with financing Market value determines what your price is in relation to other, uh, to the in this case, 2016 Thor Challenger 37 LX is for sale on the market today. So I checked RV Trader, and uh, see RV Trader is all current ads because when you pay to put one on RV Trader, they they only stay on there for 60 or 90 days. And you have to pay to renew the ad or it just or it comes completely off of RV Trader completely. So if you don't pay to renew, then it's automatically deleted. So you know at the worst case the ad's sixty to ninety days old. So it's a pretty recent ad, even if it's already sold. And um because nobody's gonna pay for an ad that on something that, again that paid, you know, sixty, seventy dollars for an ad that's already been sold. So um so, you know, you, you've got a pretty good idea what they're bringing. And, guys, every 2016 model on there had, A, had double or more miles of this one, and, B, was over $100,000. And, C, they were at other dealerships that are not disclosing the fees and the upsells that they charge you on top of that six-figure price tag. So, they may have it advertised for $100,000, but they're going to add fees like dock fees, prep fees, processing fees tag and title fees get ready fees and all that stuff that is going to drive that price up anywhere from a few hundred dollars to, to, to a couple thousand dollars or more and then they're going to start trying to add up sales which can add several thousand dollars to the price which are extended warranties gap insurance um all this other stuff that's most of it's not worth the paper it's written on most of it's marked up four or five times dealer cost don't fall victim to that stuff, guys. It's a ripoff. Never buy upsell from a dealer. You're just throwing your money away. And then, um, then of course, they're also most of them now. They charge you extra if you bring your own money, or they take away a rebate, which is the same thing. And I don't know about y'all, but if a dealer tells me that I have to, I lose a rebate, or I have to pay extra for the RV if I go to my own bank or credit union, or if I bring my own money, like pay cash for one, I'm leaving. I'm not buying from them. To me, that just tells me they're trying to rip me off because all because dealers make money on finance and they mark the interest rates up over what they get you approved for. Guys, rates are high enough right now. You know, the feds keep raising the prime interest rate. RV rates go hand in hand with that, just like car rates and mortgage rates and everything else. So why go someplace that marks it up even more on top of that? So... You know, we, we do offer long-term financing here at Parkway RV Center, but we do it without marking the rates up. We offer financing as a courtesy to our customers, not as a way to overcharge them and make extra profit. You know, a lot of dealers make thousands of dollars in profit on the financing by simply marking the rate up 1% or 2%. And when you're talking $90,000 RV loan, and then they start talking about financing all those upsells and fees, and of course they have a higher price to begin with, they're they're going to make an additional ten twelve thousand dollar profit ten ten or twelve thousand dollars you're going to overpay for something that um you shouldn't be because the dealer's greedy 
We don't do any of that, guys. It's 89.9 haggle-free firm plus applicable sales tax. That's it. Now, if you are a Georgia resident, since we are a licensed, bonded, insured RV dealer for over 50 years in the state of Georgia, in fact, the oldest continuously operated licensed, bonded, insured dealer in the entire RV dealer in the entire state of Georgia, been in business since 1968. Uh, we do charge a we do have to charge like anybody in georgia everybody in georgia pays this already anyway whether they buy from a dealer or individual uh they, there is a hundred dollar highway impact fee and a 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee that's georgia residents only if you come from out of state obviously that doesn't apply to you and um but uh that's it if you need delivery service we can help you arrange that. Uh, we can give you a number of our good buddies at Nuga Transport who can do a long distance delivery, uh, help you set it up, whatever you need to do. They offer a variety of services that we can't and do it pretty affordably. And they're licensed, insured, and all that stuff. They're not just some random guy in a, you know, that <laughs> doesn't have much experience driving an RV with a tow car that, to drive back like a, a lot of these delivery places are. He's, a, he's actually a properly insured and and uh, trained and licensed and you know not not just a fly-by-night organization and uh, we can put you in touch with them for a quote or uh, if you just want if you're semi-local or local and you just want somebody just to take it to your home and just drop it off then we can do that pretty affordably as well within you know pretty short distance a couple hundred miles or less so if you got questions about delivery service, uh, give us a call. My salespeople are glad to help you out with that, 706-965-7929. And, guys, you know, the, the way this thing's priced, I mean, if you live 3,000 miles away and you pay to have it delivered to you, you're still going to save tens of thousands of dollars over other places that has this same year making and model motorhome and get a lower mileage, nicer motorhome, for tens of thousands of dollars to save. So I don't care where you live at in the United States or Canada. You come to Ringo, Georgia, buy this motor home. This is the year making model you're looking for. It's so easy to justify it, guys. You're going to, there's no question about it. I mean, to drive a few hundred miles, a couple thousand miles, or, fly, or take a flight, or spend a few hundred dollars on a flight down here to save tens of thousands of dollars, it's kind of a no brainer. So, um, and not have to deal with all the fees, all the upsells, all the games, all the gimmicks that other dealers play. You know, we're mom and pop independent dealer. We don't play those games. So 89.9 haggle free firm. Doesn't matter how far you come to buy it. Plus your sales tax. And if you're Georgia resident, you're, again, your highway impact fee and your tag and title fee is 140, 150 bucks. And I just like to tell you about that. So, uh, there's no surprises. Uh, includes our major systems inspections, so please listen closely, guys. Uh, major systems inspections, you know, to keep our prices down to where they are. We don't, of course, nobody guarantees everything to work on a used RV. Nobody does. And they don't even guarantee everything to work on a new RV. In fact, you buy a brand new and one of these now, I, I looked it up, this was about 175 new. Before you add for any options and before you add for any upsells and fees that new dealers charge, and 2022 models, 23 models, are well over 200,000 for this same motorhome. And this will do everything a brand new one will do for le way less than half price with 10,000 miles. So like I get, like I said, like I said, the first part of the video, this is the used RV that new shoppers hope they can find before they waste 200 grand on a brand new one. And they can buy this one for under 90. But, like I was saying, um, our major systems inspection is that we check the following systems and only the following systems for that price of eighty nine nine. We, we're going to make sure, of course, your slide outs work. Make sure not just that they just come in and out. I mean, we make sure they seal good. We make sure everything's structurally sound on them. Um, and, of course, we, we inspect them several times. Uh, we check the generator, make sure we run it for several hours, like I've got it running now, make sure it's putting out the proper voltage and um, and all that. Of course, check fluid levels and all that good stuff. We check your um, steps. We check the drivability. Yes, I'm going to test drive it later in the video and bring the slide outs in, show what it looks like with the slides in. We also inspect the uh, plumbing systems. 
make sure there's no plumbing leaks anywhere if there are we fix it now we've already winterized this unit but we will de-winterize it to check it then we'll re-winterize it at no additional charge to you and while we're also checking the water system we're going to make sure that your hot water heater works on both modes of operation make sure hot water gets everywhere it's supposed to go and again guys if there's any issues with any of these problems we fix it at no additional cost for you for that 89.9 price check the refrigerator make sure it works we check both air conditioners make sure it works we check your propane system make sure that uh, your propane system has no leaks in it do a safety check on that and um, of course we check the drivability of it and everything else is sold as is guys now i've done a, kind of beyond that above and beyond that for my viewers you know we don't cover awnings in our checkout but i've already checked the awning it works it goes in and out just fine the lights work if it works now it's going to work when you buy it guys if you can't i mean you, you can't check something you can't fix something if it already works right uh, i've checked all the lights all the lights work fireplace works <clears throat> excuse me the the theater seating works and massage the heat the lights all that stuff works furnace works so uh, i've checked those additional systems for you um what else have i checked backup cameras work um i showed you that earlier so you know i've checked all those other systems so anybody and then, then the next part i'm going to tell you is common sense really for any rv shopper I mean, you need to do this any RV you buy anyway, new or used from a dealer or an individual. A, you need to come look at the RV in person first because videos help, pictures help, but nothing beats actually stepping through the RV, walking through it because, you know, until you actually walk through it and check the size out for yourself, because size perception, when you're looking at it on a phone or a computer screen or TV, it's totally different than when you look at it in person. It may look a lot bigger, a lot smaller than what you imagined. Put yourself in here, sit, sit at the table, uh, sit at the couch or the theater seating, lay in the bed, uh, sit in the driver's seat, stand up in the shower. I mean, just kind of get a feel for it, make sure it's gonna be big enough for you and your family to be comfortable in and um, test drive it, of course make sure that part's comfortable for you and of course while you're here if you are pretty knowledgeable or you're an experienced rv owner you can go ahead and do an inspection on it for yourself just kind of see what works and what doesn't like i said the only things we we guarantee to work are the major systems like guys i apologize i didn't realize my camera had actually cut off and i've actually went in and brought the slide outs in and all that stuff so I had to look back see where it cut off at so what i was getting at guys if you can come out take a look at it and um do your own inspection see what works what doesn't and and one thing i do recommend for everybody buy new used uh is get a dealer or for sale owner is get an rv inspection guys third party rv inspection you're saving so much money on the price you're saving so much money on um what this would cost at other dealerships and even for sale by owners spurge a little bit still save a bunch of money and get you a third party rv inspector guys and yes people look at me like i just grew a second head when i say that because no other dealer on the internet is going to recommend that but i recommend a third party rv inspector on any used and even brand new rv you're heavily interested in buying of course don't just do it unless you're really serious about buying you already checked with your bank or checked with a uh, dealer about financing make sure you can buy it and um, spend a few hundred dollars and get you a good RV inspector. It's just one of those things that um, at least that way you know what works and what doesn't before you are obligated to buy it. And that includes new ones. Because any RV you buy, you're going to work on. That's just a fact of life, guys. It's like saying it didn't get, you know, it's just like saying it got dark last night. That's just a fact of life. And um, anybody tells you different, they're lying to you. Because if, if, if you never had to work on an RV, then why do we have RV techs and RV parks? <laughs> and RV repair shops. So that's just the nature. When you have this many systems working together to make an RV do what an RV does, then stuff's going to occasionally break, need replaced, repaired, etc. That's just then that's just the nature of the base like owning a houseboat. Uh it's just part of it. And there's a lot of behind the scenes repairs and 
drama, I guess, so to speak, that you go through. But when you get to your perfect camp spot, uh, site, perfect weather, it makes it all 100% worth it, guys. That's why we do what we do. And believe me, I'm speaking from 25 plus years of experience as an avid RVer myself. And that way you know. So anyway, um, so always get a third party RV inspector. And I know, I know probably only maybe three out of 10 shoppers will do that, but I made my recommendation. So whether you do or don't do it, that's entirely up to you. Anyway, um, what I'm gonna do guys, well, I've already slid it in, but I'm gonna go and pause the video for a second. I'm gonna go outside and show you what it looks like with everything slid in and then come inside and show you what it looks like and kind of go from there. 706-965-7929 is the phone number to call if you're interested in this door challenger. And uh, then we're going to take it for a test drive. But guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and I will be right back to show you what it looks like with everything slid in. So hang tight. See you in just a second. All right, everybody, I got everything slid in. I'm just going to do a quick walk around, show you what it looks like with the slide out in from the outside and all the bays closed so you can see that still looks pretty good, don't it? <laughs> all the slide outs are in nice and tight, so no adjusting required there. Sorry, we're losing some light, guys. Getting late in the day and uh, getting really dark pretty soon. Gotta love this time of year. And you can see that big full wall slide out, all the corners are in tight, so good on all that looks a lot different when everything slid in doesn't it good old sarge my grandfather was a marine south pacific during world war ii and he was a that was his rank sergeant machine gunner and uh on every time i see that rank it reminds me of him so uh, let's take a look here. All right, guys, um, you can see, looks a lot different inside as well, but you can still get around pretty good. Um, you wanna make sure all your outside bays are closed, launched, and latched, which I've already done. Put your awnings in. And um, if this thing, if, you, if you've got a unit that doesn't have slide toppers, and you're parked under some trees, make sure there's no debris on top of your slide out that can damage your seal. Come inside, make sure your parking brake set, motor off on this particular one. Your main slide switch is just right here. It's a three track Swintech system, electric. Push a button, bring it all the way in till it stops. And just like any slide out, you either bring them all the way in or all the way out. There's your battery compartment, by the way, for those LED lights I was telling you about. And um, go through here. You got full access to everything, TV, refrigerator. A little tight through here for me, but for most of y'all, you're fine. Keep in mind, I'm over 300 pounds. So uh, I can still get to the half bath. Well, I mean, I can actually almost open the door all the way but it's just tight through here for me. I said, most of you will be fine. You can still lay down, take a nap, still get to your back bedroom or back bathroom. You just can't open these closet doors, but no big deal. Or, or your drawers underneath that. And your slide out switch for this slide out. is right here. Uh, your very far switch right there. So same way with it, bring it in till it stops. All right, guys, let me get somebody loaded up. We'll take her for a test drive. I'll see you back here in just a second from the driver's seat. All right, everybody. Uh, now we're gonna take this store challenger for a test drive and uh, got my good buddy Shane, gonna be our cameraman. So uh, if you got any questions or you're interested in this challenger, give him a call or a text. Shane, what's your number? My number is 423-347-8478. Don't expect this one to last long. Because for those of you who are looking for something like this, you're going to save a ton of money. And uh, well, I hate this time of year. It gets dark so early. But 
of course this five o'clock plus traffic don't help either we'll take her down the road see what she can do there you go maybe <laughs> I'll be here just for a minute or two <laughs> but it does have the uh, five speed with overdrive so six speed torque shift transmission with the 362 horsepower 362 horsepower v10 so i'd have plenty of power for a vehicle this size anyway I know nobody's gonna let us out, so uh oh. <laughs> we'll be here. But uh this thing, you know, should have plenty of power, just ten thousand miles. It does have a lot of leg room too. So pretty comfortable up here. And uh, all right, we got an opening coming up. Thing is, you drive on one of these, you just got to remember to kind of cut it wide, and you can't really turn these like a car, so. Definitely a V10, you can always tell by that sound. Hey, we, we almost made it. <laughs> well, I guess if we ran the red light, we would have made it, but they just had to write the motorhome a ticket instead of the driver. <laughs> guys it's a great visibility out of it i love the one piece windshield good mirrors got great visibility that's one of the best things they ever did to these uh motor i'll start putting that one piece windshield in lose that pillar in the middle and just give you some great visibility and see how good that's one thing i do love about a class thing you don't miss anything when you're driving down the road very comfortable seats too flex steels are hard to beat Almost like sitting in a recliner. Mm -hmm. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And, uh, we'll see what this thing can do up the hill at least. Guys, uh, thanks for riding along with us. Sorry this has kind of been a long video just to go 100 feet, but we're going to get there eventually. Good, even up going up this hill under a load is doing good. Hey, anytime from a dead stop at a class A gas 38 foot, you can hit uh, 50 miles an hour by the top of this hill, that's pretty good. Usually, uh, especially with the older ones, uh, with the, with the uh, lower horsepower, you're lucky if you get 35 or 40. And we're going to take it up the interstate.
do like those side cameras. They do come in handy. We'll get on it just a little bit and see if we can what kind of speed we can get it up to. to replace one of the wipers. <laughs> Just notice that. We'll put a wiper on it. A couple of wipers on it for you. Didn't notice it until we got some speed going and the wind blew it loose a little bit. No biggie. Well, I mean, it, it rides good. I'm not fighting anything. The, not, not to, you know, I'm not going to the left or the right or pulling or nothing like that try the brakes out here in a minute. Cruise works great. No check engine lights, nothing like that. In fact, I can try the brakes out probably a little harder than I want to. He knows he left his lights on. <laughs> Uh, brakes feel good. I'm not getting any kind of brake pull or any kind of brake vibration like rotors. So I think, yeah, I mean, of course, 10,000 miles, you wouldn't expect it to be any ride or drive any different than it did. So, yeah, guys, I think we got a winner here. But don't take my word for it. Come check it out for yourself and give Shane a call or a text. Make sure somebody ain't beat you to it. Shane, what's your number again? 423-347-8478. Smash us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, guys, as always. Thanks again for riding with us. And uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.